Okay. Move the camera over this way. Okay. I know I'm live, but I have to now get my camera software up here. Do some. Hey guys, I see y'all. Just a minute. Let me um let me get my, everything set up here. It's not very for some reason. It's not auto focusing. There we go. Um, change the webcam mic. Go to my advanced settings. Okay, let's see here. Hey guys, <clears throat> hang on. Let me let me fix everything. Gotta fix everything. White balance. Which one looks better? Does that look better? Which one looks better? No, the other one looks better. That looks better. The other one's too bright. Okay, let's see. And so I will probably have to run back and forth a few times. I'm doing laundry. Hubster just got home. He had he went and had a family lake thing, so he just got home. Let's see. Let's straighten out the camera. Nope. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Color. Do I have any color? <laughs> Does that look okay, guys, you think? I... Hey, Janet. And Janet, I didn't know what time. I Here's the thing, guys. And Janet, if you're going to stream, just let me know when you want to. Here's the thing. I have not enough hours to stream and show everything and do everything. I have a haul. I have Norma. Got, I got happy mail from Norma. I got another girl sent me a color book with a unicorn. It's so cute. A unicorn color book. I got to do the pan pastels on Monday. That's going to take my whole four hours. So... If I do pan pastels on Monday, the haul, the happy mail, the unicorn book, all that stuff won't get done. So I just, you know, I just don't have enough hours in the day. So I did get done with um, Ken's picture. I did send it. Well, I mean, I'm going to send it out since it's in a sleeve now. But there's their um, draw. That's for Ken and his, uh, that's his birthday. That's mom's husband, Ken. Y'all know they got married, what, 15 years ago when both their spouses, you know, they, anyway, they remarried and she remarried Ken. That's Ken's daughter. And I did this for Ken for his birthday. And Tammy already called me and she was like crying because she saw the picture. I sent it to mom, a photograph, and she and mom showed it to Tammy. And oh, my gosh, Tammy had a fit. So. Okay, okay, sling some hash, Janet. I already made me and Hubster a BLT when he got home from the lake. <coughs> so anyway, I got to get that. I got to get happy mail done today, which y'all don't have to see that, but I got to get happy mail done today for Hubster to take out tomorrow, including that drawing, because Ken's birthday is coming up, and I've got to get that out. So I do have here, this is everything I got to do this month so this is this month's stuff to do and uh yeah so busy 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 okay let me, let me pop it in dot grace um cb peggy uh, I know I'm meet, meet, missing some people. C D U being down under. <laughs> um, I was talking to her about how my setup is. Seriously, guys, my setup. I've shown it. I've drawn it before, and shown how my setup is. It's nothing, really. I mean, where's my? So here's my table. Okay, there's my table. That's where I'm sitting at. Although I have another table over here to the side. So I have another table right there. 
Hey, and and you you don't stream to like two or something, right? I I can't fit everything in. I don't know when everybody streams, but anyway, um, so I I face right here in front of me. You know, I have my build. You know, my marker and pen build, the black foam core build right here in front of me. It sits on the table. Well, behind that table, I have bookcases that go all the way to the floor. You can't obviously can't see them because here's my table. But I have bookcases that go all the way to the floor. So they're behind here. And so here's the bookcases, right? So my table is bumped up right against these bookcases, which are full. <laughs> I need Denise to come down. Um, yeah, they are better in person, aren't they, Julie? I know, because some about the texture and the paper, the tan tone or the paper, it just looks so much better in person than it does in a photograph. Yeah. Well, now, I've got it in a plastic sleeve, but um, the, the texture of the paper doesn't show up on camera. So, yeah, I think I think he'll love it. Okay, so... What I do is this build right here is, is right, the top of this build is at eye level. That's right at eye level. So this first shelf right here, okay, I got some heavy things right there on, on the shelf. So what I do is I have a yardstick, just a flat yardstick. And the reason it's flat is because then you can stick it up under those heavy items on the shelf. So the yardstick sticks out over my table and I have my camera. I have one of those uh, gorilla arm things attached to my camera. So the, the gorilla arms like wrap around the yardstick. So my camera is right there at the end of the yardstick. And so, you know, that's, that's my setup, a yardstick <laughs> and a camera. So that's how I have it. So people are always wondering, how can I stream with the overhead camera? Because the tripod legs are in the way. And I have all kinds of tripods. And, and you know, I got, I got some of, you know, I got all kinds of these kind of things for close-up camera things. Um, I've got selfie sticks, selfie arms. I've got those windy things. And the problem with those windy kind of phone, um, phone things yeah, I know, Julie. Thank you. Yeah, photographs don't do them justice. Those um, aren't those like selfie stick clamp arm things that clamp to your table with a selfie phone holder, and you can use it as a camera holder too. But they're those windy things that have a clamp that you're supposed to clamp on your table, right? And just use. The problem with those clampy, um, spirally things is a jiggle. So if I had it attached to the table, I bump it. it, it if you do anything on the table, it's going to jiggle. So those I do not recommend for your camera or phone. Don't attach that to your um, table. If you can attach it to something else, like a bookshelf, something that's not going to jiggle, because you, I mean, just doing this is going to jiggle the table, right? If you have it attached on one of those clampy things. Does that make sense? Hey, Kimberly, anybody else? DeMonte, everybody popping in, Lori. So that's all I have, how I set mine up. The yardstick is jammed up under heavy things up your books. It can be anything. I got paper and books and, you know, and so the yardstick is in that bookshelf and it hangs over my table. That's all it is. And then it's a smaller version of this that's on my camera. And then it just hangs upside down like that attached to the, attached to the yardstick. So it, you don't have to have anything fancy, you know, <laughs> trust me, I've used this for this system. Now I did have one other system. All right, there's closet doors right there and my tables were right here. So what I had was one of those, um, it's like a giant tripod. It's made for um, like presentation easel and it's a thin aluminum. It's not, it's just a thin aluminum. I think Denise got a yard sale for $5, but it was, it's, it's a floor standing. It's one of those that like, you know, that you do presentations on and it's a, like a giant tripod aluminum and it just has a little stand right there. Well, what I did before when I didn't have a bookshelf, is I had this aluminum stand and it had an arm right there. And what I did is I 
taped my yardstick and a mall stick <laughs> to this. So it hung over, you know, so I could have an overhang over my table. So that was the other way. A chart, that's like a chart stand. Yeah, exactly, Jean. And good morning, by the way. It's like a chart stand. So because it's freestanding, you don't have to worry about table jiggling. Of course, I did bump into this a few times. I've knocked it over. I tripped over it, knocked it over. And, you know, that was in the show. <laughs> um, yes, it is. It's a telescopic, but this is a floor stand. It's tall. It's, it's like as tall as five foot, five foot, whatever. I'm five, five and a half. So it was taller than my head. And, and what it does is then you can hang it, you know, have an arm extension and then have that over your table. But the easiest way is this. The easiest way, if you have a bookcase, right, if you can put your desk or table right up against a bookcase, way down, just with weights, put in, a, you know, books or whatever, and then have a yardstick tucked under there. And then you can just attach your camera with a mini one of these. I can't obviously can't show it to you because it's, you know, it's one of those little mini gorilla arms. And uh, just, just attach that to your yardstick and face it down. So either one of those. The problem, I'll tell you, Anne, the problem with one of these, animals, pets. Pets bump into these. Pets bump into these and knock these over. Little cats can knock these over. <laughs> so that's one of the problems with this is it, it, you can, you know, knock it over easy. You can't knock this over because it's jammed into a bookcase. So, yeah. So, you know, if you can, you know, something like that. But again, I'm just giving you all some, you know, ideas because a whole bunch of new people and they're, they're tr struggling with the tripod thing where the tripod legs show with your camera. Somebody needs to invent uh, an, an extended arm kind of, oh, well, there probably is one. A tripod with an extended arm reach, you know, that's weighted in the back so you don't have to put rice bags and, you know, all, you know, come on now. Look how many people, somebody needs to do that, invent that. <laughs> it's probably out there. But anyway, because you don't want to jiggle your camera and and those wire those curly Q things, if you clamp them to the table you're working on, are going to jiggle. So yeah, an Acron stand, those uh, those uh, tall those uh, board stands, coloring. Yeah. Hey, Colleen. So there we go. So again, I've I have streamed with this before. Uh, when I wanted a close up, I would just put my camera on here. And, you know, I could get my, I could do this kind of well. And I've also even held this. I've held this while I've streamed, you know, with my my uh, Logitech screwed onto there. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. So, you know, there's these, you know, there's, anyway. So there's some, there's some advice for uh, new streamers. Okay. So, again, I, I needed to stream today because I have, and I, I hope I did link Norma. Um, I linked Norma's uh, Twitter to my tweet about streaming because I'm going to show her happy mail today. It's either today or week after next because I won't have time to do happy mail next week. I got the pan pastel. I got the color books. I got, you know, I, I don't have, I don't even have time for happy mail <laughs> to show it. So I thought I would do that today. So Norma, if you're not here today, um, I'm going to show your happy mail in a little bit, and I love every bit of it. But there's only so many hours that that are available stream time, you know, and so I just I've got to squeeze this in today. So we're going to do a haul, a happy mail, and color books, and we'll see what else we can do. Hey, Jennifer Crackalackin, did I say hi to you, Colleen? Hi, Muffy, Lori, Deborah. I'm sure I'm missing some people. <laughs> the queen wave <laughs> coloring down under hey Rosalind uh, yeah so anyway and then plus I'm trying to catch up on so many videos guys there's so many I'm in like 
three weeks behind on watching everybody's videos. I am so behind on catching up. And I watch them while I'm working. So it's not like, you know, it's just as I can't even watch videos fast enough. Okay, and the other thing is if Eileen comes in today, I have a new project. Yes, I have more projects. My problem is not so much getting projects done off camera. Um, my, it, it's trying to stream them all. Um, <laughs> you can't paint, you're watching. <laughs> Colleen, are you, are you working on painting your new house? Oh my gosh. Well, just put me all in the background, Colleen. Don't, don't get behind. Hey, Bacola. And so um, I'm working on a few projects. I'm working on a pro secret project for my mods. I'm not going to talk about that. It's no big deal. It's just a little something for the mods. But I'm working on that. I'm working on all my animals. I am also doing separate watercolor animals. And if Eileen comes in, I'm going to tell her about another project I'm working on. But um, my problem isn't working on the projects off camera. It's trying to stream them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to do um, the ones I'm going to cut out in pencil and I'm also doing watercolors. So I'm going to duplicate. I got all my watercolors cut. So I'm going to duplicate them. I got a couple here started like, uh, like here's a watercolor emu. Um, Oh, you're painting the old house, Colleen. Okay, well, I started this one just so you can get an idea. I'm going to do watercolors of the animals as well. And then I'm going to do another project. Like I said, it's Eileen, Eileen gave me the eye. Well, she didn't give me the Oh, there she is. Okay, so no, it's Sunday, Eileen. I'm just talking about getting caught up on a lot of stream projects um, because there's just not enough hours in the day to stream everything. So the other project that I'm working on, <laughs> I know Eileen's going to crack up over this. And I need to know, Eileen, what, because I found one site. It's today is, you know, ice cream day. Today is jello day. Eileen posts those every day. She posts a today is so-and-so, whatever day it is. And she posts those every day on Twitter. So my idea is to draw, and there's like, sometimes there's five things. Sometimes it could be jello, ice cream, kiss a frog, or whatever day, right? And sometimes there's four or five different things. So I'm not sure which site you go to, Eileen. Um, I found national, today is whatever day. I'm not sure if that's the one you're using. For instance, let me go to, where's my little book here? Get my travelers out here. Uh, today is today's ice cream and pet fire safety day. Is that the same thing? Yeah. See if that's the same thing. It's the national day of. National day of. And I wrote all the rest down for the month. Okay. That's different day. That's check day. Okay. I have national day. So let me write that one down. I can't go to the link right now. Check, check it, checky day. Check I day dot co. Oh, dot com. Sorry, it just cut off. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to see if that one's different than the ones I have because I went to the national day is. See, it's different. See, I need to go, I need to combine the two. I need to do that. So like, you know, whatever check, check, checky day is, I'm going to go combine that with the national day. So here's my idea. I want to pick one or two, and I think I'm going to combine them. Like for instance, today's the 15th, right? So, so Tuesday, for example, Tuesday is peach ice cream day. And it's also, there's two days that have yellow pig day. So anyway, like I could see drawing a, here, let me, a yellow pig. Is that nostrils? A yellow pig eating an ice cream cone that's in the shape of a peach because it's peach ice cream day. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm going to try to combine both lists, Eileen, yours and the national one. And so my idea is, is to draw one every day and sell them, sell the original. I'll probably, you know, take pictures and make prints or stickers out of prints and or stickers out of them as well. But I'll sell the originals. So check. Oh, it's check it day. So that's the one. Check it day. I said, what did I say? Check I, checky, checky, check it day. Okay, check it day. Okay, check it day. And so that's my idea, Eileen. And I'm 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 um saying that it's your fault that I'm gonna do that <laughs> because you post those every day. So yeah, so I'm, that's the plan. So there's that project in the works, along with my animals and the watercolor animals. So those are some of the projects I'm working on. I told y'all, um, people have been asking me for new commissions. They always ask, there's always people asking me for commissions, and I'm usually doing them right. I'm usually doing my commission portraits, pet, or people. But I'm taking a break from those to work on these other projects. <laughs> like, oops. So I'm going to work on these other projects for a while. So I'm not going to do the the pet and people commissions, you know, here or there. I got a couple others that are lined up. I need to do a, there's one for a, um, one of the moms from Gold Rush wants me to do their third portrait and um, some other things. But for the most part, I'm not going to take new commissions at this time, maybe closer to Christmas, depending on how these other projects go. So that's the idea there. No, I didn't. put. Yeah, good thing I didn't post on the nude day. <laughs> well, you know what I could have done on nude day? Well, no, that would have been camouflage day. But have y'all seen? And I don't know. Is it? I don't know if it's a fake thing or if it's a real thing. But it shows this guy. I think he's. I don't know if he's in China or was he anyway, it's an Asian guy and he was he was just the one demonstrating it. I don't know who invented it. I don't remember. It's been a couple, two, three months ago when I saw it. And there's like a camouflage, like it's it the fabric makes you invisible, essentially. It's not it's not a camouflage in the sense of like camo, you know, like army camo. It's like a cloth and you put it in front of you and it somehow mirrors. It mirrors your environment, but you don't see a mirror. You know, it doesn't look like a mirror. Anyway, it was really cool. Um, and so anyway, that we could have put, we could have just had someone invisible. That's what I was saying, Eileen. Invisible. All right. So anyway, if y'all did not see, I tweeted it yesterday. I went to Walmart. Because, uh, well, Hubster had gone on Saturday, and I was doing, well, I forgot what I was doing on Saturday. Anyway, I couldn't go, no, Friday. He went to, on Friday. Oh, I was streaming on Friday. <laughs> Gee, I just lose track of days, guys. So I was streaming on Friday, so I didn't go with him to Walmart. But I said, look and see. Um, <laughs> um, I said, look and see if how many of the school supplies are out because it, in in Georgia, at least in all the counties that I'm aware of, I don't know every county in Georgia, but the counties that I'm aware of, the the first week of of August is when school starts, so they start putting out the school supplies mid July. Okay, so I knew they'd probably be out. Well, he came home on Friday after I, you know, I stream, and he goes, "Yeah, the school supplies are out." So I had him take me yesterday. I said, I got to get some school supplies and do a school supply haul. <laughs> and um, so he took me and I took a little 30 second video. So let me show you. Where's the little, let me see. Maybe I should just go to my uh, photos here. And I took this little, here. Let's see if I got it turned up. So there's Hubster. And here we are, Hubs, helping me with the school supply haul. And he's looking around. And I think it was CB said he looked like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> and so he he was holding on because he I said, Do you want to get a buggy? And he goes, Do we need we don't need a buggy, do we? Here, I'll play it again. And here we 
are pups helping me. Look at them looking around. <laughs> so anyway, he was holding all my supplies. Hey, Darla. <laughs> hey, Barbara. Anybody else popping in? Uh, Georgia makes their kids go back to school during the hot spot of the year. That's Joanne, right? And um, so anyway, I think, and then they only get, but of course they get out the end of May, like the third week of May. They, they get out like the third week of May. So they have the last week of May, June and July off. So they got two months and a week off, something like that. But then during Christmas, they have two weeks. During spring break, they have two weeks. So they spread out those those other weeks. Instead of getting three months in summer, they spread those out throughout the year. Um, and that way, supposedly, kids don't forget things during the year. So I haven't got to Target yet. I know, Colleen, our Target will probably already have it out because it is... Um, because it's uh, we go back to school early. So anyway, if you're watching this recording, you're thinking, well, get on with it, get on with it. Just fast forward, people. I know, I know I'm chatty. It's a chat show. We're talking, we're chatty, we're Gabby. <laughs> Just slide that little bar till you get to the part you wanna see. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, hey, Paula, Paula here. Hey, Paula, anybody else I'm missing? There she is. Hey. All right, so I'm going to show you my school. So little, it's not a lot, but, you know, it's fun. And I did get an extra pack of the crystal bolts for a giveaway. <laughs> and uh, so everything here on this table was like 20 bucks. And some of it's hubsters. These are hubsters. Uh, there's a oh, the black these big crystals are these are hubsters so some of it's even hubsters so I'd say about seventeen dollars is mine the rest is his I'm blaming that going over twenty on him <laughs> so anyway I got the big crystal um and these also guys are awesome because for drawing and sketching you do have to watch that the 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 uh, let me just get another one here. The ink kind of builds up on the tip if you're drawing a lot. So you need to kind of clean the tip off. Do I have one in here? Do I thought I had one in my, this is my, this is my everyday pen holder. Um, so if you're sketching or drawing with them, where's my post-its? Remember guys, if you're talking to me, put it in caps. Hey, Shirley. Um, okay, so if you're sketching and drawing with these are awesome and you can go watercolor over them, you can, you know, put wet medium over it. The only thing is, is some, the ink can kind of pill, pull up, pit, not, I don't know, build up on the tip. So every now and then you just want to kind of, you know, have something handy if you're sketching, just so you can kind of clean the tip off a little bit. Um, and I think the bolds might be worse than the mediums. And uh, so anyway, but they're just big pins. They're just the big pins. I mean, like, I'm serious. I think this was a dollar nineteen for all these. So just just clean off your uh, the ink buildup every now and then if you use them. Hello, Rachel. Been watching for a while. This is my first live show. Well, welcome, Rachel Lane. Hi, hi. Yeah, big is permanent. Yeah. So, but it does, you know, you just need to clean the tip off every now and then. Okay, so these, that and the highlighters, hubsters, okay? So I'm going to set those aside. All right, so the the composition books, some, these these happen to be 50 cents. Some are a um, dollar. So they run between 50 cents and a dollar. And um, these are the college rule. I don't know why the wide rule, the little kid ones, sometimes are more expensive than the wide, than the college rule. And that doesn't make sense to me. I would think the college rule ones would be like the 25 cents more. And um, hello, Forever Purple. Hey, Natalie. Anybody else popping in? Pam. Uh, I would think... <laughs> I know, Galena. That the 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 wide rule, the kid, the little kid ones would be more than the college rule. But anyway, these were 50 cents. Now, 
whenever there's leftovers, like say probably mid to late August, they will have composition books at Walmart for 10 cents. 10 cents, people. They're trying to get rid of them, I guess. They don't want to store those things. So, um, you know, but 50 cents. So I bought two of them. I like the alphabets on them. And they're just plain old composition books. But the thing about most composition books is they hold up fairly well because they're stitched all the way through. See, the stitching, is it's stitched. So they're not just glued in. It's actually stitched in. And so they hold up pretty well. The pages don't just fall off. Jean says she prefers the wide rule because your eyesight. Well, yes, of course you would, Jean. I don't buy, you know, most of the time, I used to write in these a lot. Now I like them for, and I used to do glue books and, you know, like my Japanese patterns. I, you know, all kinds of things like that. Composition books are just great. Here's Fluffette. This composition book was, I made like, uh, I think it was my first or second year of street. So, you know, seven years ago, maybe. And uh, this was a composition book, just has scrapbook paper. And it, I did a tab for every single person that I knew at the time, which was about 100 people. So there was about 100 people that I would save their emails. I collected their favorite colors. So this is called Fluffette because <laughs> it's fluffy like that. So a composition book will hold up really well. I mean, it does, you know, Fl Fluffette does not close. It's, she sits up on my shelf. So, and I've gone through her a few times. We can, we can do it again another day. So, so composition books are just great for a lot of things. I think we've got a little bright here. I don't know if the, I don't want to get too dark, but that was a little bright. So, um, I use a composition book to make a journal for the plants in my garden. Yeah, and and Boo made herself a notebook. She she I don't think she had a comp. Did she have a three wing? I think she had a three wing binder. One year, she was helping me do my garden, and she kept track of everything we planted, had all the little seed packets, and she made her a, like a notebook. Uh, I don't know if she used it for a school project or not, but composition books are good for so many things. I mean, just so many things your want list for patterns like for your miniature patterns uh jennifer crackalack and your minis crack mini <laughs> so anyway i got two of those and like i said i got three packs of the crystal bowls and uh, i go through these especially the colors so I don't know if everyone has the exact same color. There's like out of order. I think they're all the same. Pink, purple. So anyway, I got one to give away. And uh, let me, I'm going to go ahead. I haven't opened any of it because I wanted to open everything with you guys. I could probably zoom in one. Let's do that. There we go. We're kind of far away. So... These are awesome for being, you can, they're, you know, waterproof. Hey, CB. CB, I showed Hubster's little video again. And it's so funny, CB goes, um, he looks like a deer in the headlights. When we went to Walmart. Oh, my God, I got to show it again. Bless his heart. He's such a good sport. And somebody goes, did you play the cricket? Because I told everybody last week that, um, I play my cricket soundboard. Let me find the crickets. When I'm in long line at Walmart, or it's usually a Walmart, because that's where the long lines seem to be. I'll play this. Well, somebody asked me if I, I should have played that while Hubster was holding my supplies, but I couldn't get to the soundboard while I was filming. While I was filming the um, video, so here. Here we are, Hubs, helping me with the school supply haul. Look how he's looking around. Look, look. Come on. And here we are, Hubs, helping me with the school supply haul. And he's looking around like, is anybody seeing us? <laughs> Oh, 
yeah, and and Julie, yeah, they like I said, my Walmart ends up at the end of August having them for like ten cents. Now, not everyone they get picked over, you know, the good, you know, the little, the real decorative ones they get picked over. And uh, yeah, they do. Composition books will take. You are saying that the composition takes a lot of abuse, not hubster, right? <laughs> Julie. Okay, so let me show you the color. I'm not going to show you black. So it comes with two blacks, two dark blues. So here's oh oh, and they always have that little they have that little piece of plastic on the tip. You got to pull that little bit of plastic. I guess that protects them. Um, for all the braces, always love a woman. <laughs> I have, these are just like little, well, other than the one Norma gave me, this one, they're really just little dollar bracelets, except for the ones Boo made. Boo made this one, this one, and this one. They're made out of silly bands, like I don't even know how many years ago she made these. Um, but the other ones are just little dollar bracelets. Yeah. Um, just for summer, you know. Okay, so these are the bold, right? So they're going to write really bold. So here is the blue. See how thick that writes? And that's why, and the only time I ever see the bold ones is at school supply time. I don't see the bold ones. Here, let me show you this cover again. Extra bold. I don't see these except at school supply time. They probably are. Then my staples closed. So I don't even have my staples anymore. So um, so Target, Walmart, whatever. <laughs> Rachel Lane said the most shopping she can get her husband to do is Amazon. Oh, and I think this is Amazon Prime weekend or tomorrow or something. So if y'all, you know, want some more bargains. And I even saw where some stores are meeting um uh amazon prime prices during the amazon prime so check your stores to see if they have um matching sales okay so here's like the turquoisey color the kind of aqua color it starts monday tomorrow thanks cb then here's purple again i have to take off the little uh plastic covering here's purple but they're great to sketch with guys but you do got to kind of you know clean off the excess there's purple these were on sale these the they are at walmart for about i think they're a dollar 49 for the color ones for the bowl i think they're a dollar 40 they're under two bucks they're under two bucks and the only time I ever see the bolds are at school time. Okay, here's pink. Get that little plastic bit off. It's pink. See how thick? Let me get, let me see. I think this is a normal one here. Yeah, okay. So here's the difference. That's your regular big. That's the extra bold. See the difference in the thickness? Sales on an Amazon too. It's on for 10 days. Uh, Colleen would know. <laughs> if you want to know when Amazon's having anything going on, ask Colleen, the scrap chick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so then red. Again, I got to pick off the little plastic bit. Whose job is to do that? No, I, mean, I know it's done by machine. Denise and I used to um, kid each other or talk about, we'd have the questions of the universe, Denise and I. You know, one of the questions like, who puts that little plastic tip on the end of a pen coating? Her, her main question, her big universal question was, who puts the plastic tips on the ends of shoelaces? You know, shoelaces have that plastic coating on the, on the ends. Who does that? <laughs> I mean, no, it's done by machine, guys. We just, okay, so then here's the green. 
<laughs> and then here's the lime green. A little bit more of that plastic. So there's the colors. And again, this there's the regular big. And then here's all the bowls, just so you can see the thickness difference. Yeah, well, I'll sketch with them, Jennifer. That's what I that's what I do with them, is I sketch with them. So I need a rubber band. I'm going to need many rubber bands. Got my little rubber band thing here. Keep them in here. I won't open the other ones. I'll just keep. I'll just open one pack, and then one pack I'm giving away, and then I got a, and then I got a reserve. <laughs> so that'll last me. Th these should last me till next so, next year, next summer. Tray here. These are my other extra pens and pencil um, inks. Inks and leads are in here, but here's all my main sketching tools right here, including these. Um, these are the preppy. I don't think I ever showed you these. I'll go ahead and show you these too. I didn't get these yesterday, but I'll show you these two as well. And then my markers, I keep right here too. I keep some markers in a in a. Uh, box right there but these sit open right next to me on this side and then on this side are my color pencils it's another silverware tray go figure a silverware tray who would have thunk <laughs> okay so there's those let me throw those over there <laughs> and i'm done with these let me throw those over there okay so these pens, I need another, let's just use a composition book. Um, these are other ones that I got. Let's see how these are different ones. Yeah. Okay. So these I did not get yesterday, but they're fairly new. I just probably just didn't show you uh, how much at Walmart. Uh, like I just said, um, well, you probably weren't here under construction. <laughs> they were like a dollar. 49 I think they're under two dollars and remember it's the extra bold the other ones like the ones hubster got himself just the regular ones the regular brick crystal I think these were mm, 98 cents or something like that these were like 50 cents more a quarter more something like they're under two dollars yeah okay now I can't tell you how much these were but um the these were probably about I don't know twelve dollars for all these. These were probably about four ninety five or or something. No wait, no these aren't the ones. These I think I got. No these I got at Jet Pins. These are Walmart. I won't show you these. Are, these are Jet Pins. Well I'll show them to you. Janet probably has these. I think I got these because of Janet. To tell you the truth, yeah I think the, these are my Jet Pin preppies, uh, and what they are are. They're refillable. They're um, nib, nib pens. And they write very fine. Uh, does it say the size? They're just little fountain pens. I'm not sure if they're refillable. I don't remember. I think they're refillable. Yeah, I think these are refillable. They're just, I just like them for sketching. And they're thin. Look how thin that writes. Okay, so these are the preppy fountain pen and it's just p-r-e-p-p-y preppy fountain at jet pen i don't remember how much they are and there's probably bigger sets i got the set of is it seven or eight maybe there's one missing i don't know where's the black one i think that's is that brown oh there's the size they're oh three they're point oh three so they met, yeah, thanks, Natalie. So they may come in other sizes as well. So there's, I got pink, yellow, is that brown or black? I think, oh, let's see. I think it's a gray. It's kind of like a gray, it's not quite black. Then red, purple, green, and blue. 
and I might have got a black. I don't remember if there's seven or eight in the sets. So these are the preppies. And again, these were from Jet Pins, but I just pulled out my pin tray and these were sitting there. And then um, these I got at Walmart. And these are the uh, Bic Gelosity. The Bic Gelosity. And they're like, they're gel pens and they write real smooth. I don't know what size they are. Seven, point seven. So they're a point seven. And you can get refills for the preppy, Sharon. Okay. I might have some. I'd have bought refills with it. I'd have to look. I might have bought the refills, but they do. You can get refills. Okay. Thanks, Sharon. So these are um, the big, same people that make the crystal, the big gelosity. And I think this whole set was like $12. Uh, but I didn't get it this weekend. So they might even be cheaper now because it's school weekend. But these are the gel Gelosity. Gelosity. And then it's like there's the purple. And I like them because they're clickable. I like that. I like the clicks. I like the clicks rather than the lids. <laughs> Bic just came out with some fine liners. Okay, Rachel, I hadn't seen those. Okay, then this one is orange. I'm going to do the main colors here. And they just write so smooth. You know, they're gel pens. They're smooth. I don't use these for color books. I know a lot of people use gel pens for color books. I like, I write. I write a lot. So I write with these. And uh, like I got the fine liners. Hobby Lobby had the fine liner roll on sale. That's in the other room where I'm writing. Um, so they're in the other room. But the fine liner... Uh, Stadler, Stabler, Roll. I think there's 24 in the Roll. They're normally like $20. I think they're on sale for a six something or $7. So I got that Roll a couple weeks ago. Yeah, they are on Amazon. These are on Amazon too, Jennifer. How much are they on Amazon? All right, this looks like a peach color. It's kind of like a salmon color, like a coral color. Here's like a teal color. I'll hold them all up because I know I'm kind of far away. Here's pink. Yellow. And they're also good for annotating. This is a gray, I think. Oh, no, it's um, it's like a, almost like an indigo. It's like an indigo blue. Here's lime. If you like to annotate your books and take notes in your books. Uh, is this another? Let's see what color that one is. I think that one's black. Yeah. It looks almost like a gray. It's like it's like a gray. And here's a brown. They just write so smooth. Then here's purple. What was that other? Okay. Is that a different purple? Let's see if it's the same purple. Okay, I think that's the same purple. No, maybe one might be a little lighter. It's hard to tell. I think they might be the same. Then uh, another, now this is a lighter orange. This is a lighter orange than that one. Then here's a magenta kind of dark, you know, kind of like a red violet. Then we have green, another green. Let's compare that. Nope, it's a different green. So this is more grass green. I think the only ones that are even similar are the purples so far. Then we have just regular, let's see, the where's that other blue? Okay, that's a dark blue. This is just going to be like regular blue, ink blue. And then here it looks like a light aqua. Different color than that. Color. So there's the colors in the Gelosity. You've been eyeing these pens? Yeah. See if they're on sale or, or if they're on Amazon. I don't know how much. Did someone say how much they are on Amazon? Like I said, I think they're about $12 at Walmart. A regular price. They could be on, you know, they could be cheaper now that for the school supplies season. Okay. And I just keep things like with like. Like this, 
This is how the best, I found the best way to store things. I tried just dumping them all my pens and markers and tubs and things. I don't like, eh, it just doesn't work for me. I got to have them bundled. Just like right here is our, here are my, uh, I need to re, re bundle, but like, here's my oranges, yellows, and reds. And I have rubber bands around most of them, except when I pull them out and use them and then just jam them back in the cubby there. But I like rubber bands around things. It just makes it easy to grab and go, makes it easy to find. So yeah, those are the big gelosity at, from Walmart. Okay, so now let's get back. All right, I always use Sharpies. My black, have, uh, thick Sharpies, these I use on stream. And uh, it's pretty much the only time I use the big, thick Sharpies because when I'm doing Society Idea Collectors, when I'm doing anything where I'm writing y'all a big note in my um, Sharpie pen, I Sharpie pen is like a fine liner. And these will not go through color books or anything. They're not a Sharpie marker. They're a Sharpie pen. And this is usually what I write with. That's when I'm writing my own personal notes, I'm writing like this. This is my note taking. So that's how big I usually write. But, you know, I can't write like that and, and expect y'all to read it. <laughs> So when I'm uh, when I'm streaming, these are what I use. So I, and I keep them right here handy too. So I got three of those. I think they were a dollar ninety nine cents for three. I think I don't have my receipt. Okay, then I got a pack of the Z Grip eighteen pack. I think these were four dollars and change for twelve. I mean, 18. And these are just good. They're 0 0.7. 0 0.7 is my, seems to be my favorite click pin size. Uh, although if they're in color, I'll buy them <laughs> in whatever, whatever uh, size. <laughs> but uh, I like uh, 0 0.7. So that's what these are. Oh, no, these are the pencils. Wait a minute. These are my pencils. Sorry. I got the, I got a mixed up. Sorry, guys. These are the mechanical pencils. Hang on. And I think they, they might have even been less than four dollars for the mechanical pencils. So I'll keep a couple in my uh, drawing stash and then I'll put the rest in a drawer to pull from. So I'll keep a couple out. I think these are the pencils. Yeah, these are the lead pencil number seven. Yeah, these are the lead pencils. Uh, just like H, I'm thinking HB, you know, number two pencil. Did anything else? Hang on, guys. Find Zen in your zebra pen. They have the nice grip, and they're 0.7. I was going to see what kind of lead. It does just says lead pencil, so it doesn't say like HB, but I'm pretty sure they're HB. Okay. So anyway, they're grippy. Now, y'all know my favorite little pencil to draw with are these, um, the twistables. So I'm, you know, I'm saying these are probably pretty much the same. These are a little darker. It has a little bit darker lead than this, which the lighter lead is probably better for sketching anyway. And you just push down there and you get the, um, you get the, you get the lead to come out, hold it in and you can shove it back. I don't know if y'all know that, you know, when you're clicking a pencil and the lead comes out, I think that's probably, everybody probably knows that. And then these have the, take the lid off and it has the white eraser, which I love me the white eraser because they don't leave a mark. Don't get the, see how I put, well, it's even gone. I don't even know what happened to it. But the um, these come with a red rubber eraser, the red kind, and they can leave marks. So I put these white, uh, you know, white plastic erasers on any pencil that has a red, um, eraser because red erasers can leave marks you're being are you being funny colleen oh no i didn't know that so like yeah if you sh you, you click your pencil lead down and you want it to you got too you got it too long just hold 
hold it in and push the lead back in. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Q. Hey, Scoops. Walking the dogs was hot humidity. Do you go shop? Yeah, I went to, uh, I got some Walmart pens and school supplies, mostly pens and pencils. So these are a little bit lighter than these, which I think that will be even better for sketching like a watercolor so that you can, it, it, you know, let's see how easily it erase, erases. Let's see. Okay, now let me see how this one erases. Oh my gosh, this erase is much easier. And I guess it's just because the darkness of this lead. Um, let's do a little more test here. <clears throat> yeah, uh-oh. I guess those erasers pop out too. Okay, it races. It, I guess it races both equally. Maybe I just pushed extra hard right there. So, but you can't beat. What is it? I think, I think this is my Janet eraser. I only got two. These, uh, the little mono erasers for tiny erasing. Like, see the little smaller, and there's even smaller still. So you can get those little mono erasers. And then also, you know, the one I keep with my color book is, if y'all see Norma come in, tell me, because I want to do her haul. I'm hoping she'll come in. Hey, Kenneth. I'm hoping Norma will be here so when I show her haul, um, she's here. But I'm going to show it either way. Um, I won't have time on Monday. This is the little uh, Derwent battery operated spinning you can't, can't probably see it spin but it, you just has a little button there a little battery operator you just push that and it does a little spin action and these just the whole tip thing comes out like that and these you know you, you get the little plot this the eraser refill part so when it starts wearing out you can just extend it a little further and stick it back in like that so it works, um, Galena, it works fine, especially if you're just doing pencil. See, I'm just, or that erases just fine. Color pencil, they can take off a layer. It's not going to get all, like if you have five layers of Prismacolor, it's not taking all five layers off. I can guarantee you that. You'll take the paper off before you get five layers of Prismacolor off. But it'll take off a layer. Okay, it'll take off a, off a top layer. Maybe into the second, but that's, you're not going to get all, you're not going to get it back to white paper. Okay. Uh, okay. So anyway, so these um, little retractable 0.7 sketching pencils. And you know, you don't need this. If you're not sketching all every day, our little Hadley loves that eraser. She loves how it tickles her and you have to hide it. Oh my gosh, Scooby. You know what to get her for Christmas. <laughs> no, she might be rubbing the skin off of her body with it. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, did I miss something CB said? Uh, okay. So, anyway, I got these, and I'll keep, I'll keep, like, two out or three, and then the rest I keep in my pencil drawer. And y'all know, y'all see me go through my – I organize my pencil pen – my utility drawers. I, I went through those about probably about a year ago. So these will just go in there. Cam knows where they are. Cam will uh, uh, raid like here. Here's my Dixon Ticonderoga black. And I like these pencils because of the black eraser. This eraser will erase anything. If you don't buy the pencils for the pencil, Buy the Ticonderoga Black for the eraser. Now, these will erase some color pencil. Now, I, again, I can't guarantee it's going to get you down to white paper. But the Dixon Ticonderoga Black, not the yellow school pencil, but the, the Ticonderoga Black has the black eraser. These erasers were good. I'm going to put one over there in my color pencils. Anyway, so those other ones are going to go in there. 
then, because I thought I got some black ones too. I thought I got black pins. Hmm, I think I'm missing something because I thought I had a pack of black pins. Okay, well, anyway, there's my pencils. All right, then I got these pencils and I'm going to compare them as well. Um, and I think these were $3, between $3 and $4. Heat, can heat make paint explode? Um, I've never had it happen, but um, I've heard, I think uh, Paula and uh, Sherry have both had some of their um, Ranger something explode. Um, I forget what kind of paint it was. Um, I don't, I don't remember Galena what kind it was. I've never had that happen, but I, I don't know if it was Paula's. Is Paula still here? Paula was at the Dilutions paints, and I don't know that it was heat, Galena. I think it was the airplane. If I re, if I remember, I think it was either Sherry or Paula. Somebody coming back on the airplane, flying. Yeah, Carol, that's what it was. The airplane pressure caused them to explode. Most of mine were craft paints from Walmart and most of my, I don't know, Galena. I mean, if you got them, if you left them out, you know, over a hundred degree summer in a storage room, no telling what could happen to them. So could it? Yeah. Jean, that's what it was. Jeans did. I was thinking it was Paula. There's Sherry. Yeah, Sherry. Jean was the one that exploded. Okay, thanks, Sherry. I knew it was Sherry, Paula, or Jean. It was Jean's. Yeah, they on the airplane coming back. So if you ever fly with the dilution paints in your suitcase, put them in baggies. <laughs> put them in a baggie because those babies aren't good for flying. Okay, so these pen, these are pencils, and it has three sets of uh, number two pencil. I'm guessing they're just plain lead. Does it say three leads? Three leads in each pencil. I don't know. I've never had this, these before, so we're opening these together. Um, I think they mean three, like three different. You know the. I don't think they're colored leads. I don't know. I thought they were just plain number two. Yeah, number two pencil. 0. 0.7. Let's see. So let's take out one full set because I think there's three sets of, there we go. See, they come with these little plastic things that everything's attached to. Um, had a hairspray explode in a suitcase when you flew to New York. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I don't even know, will they even let you take aerosols in your bags anymore? Was it aerosol scoops? What kind of a suit, I mean, what kind of suitcase? What kind of a hairspray was it? <clears throat> okay, so let's see if these are just number two. I think they're just number two pencils. Yeah, they're just number, they're just lead. They're just colors for, for fun. So there's a set of all, you know, they're not color pencils. They're just, just sketching pencils, you know, just, just to lay down, you know. Of course, my absolute favorite sketching for me to sketch with is my um, graph gear in blue ink. But for doing something like the watercolors, like I'm going to be doing the little, little, little illustrations, these are better. But uh, if we're just for drawing, I love me my graph gear. And this is the 7.7 7 graph gear. Cameron, oh my gosh, when he came to visit, this wasn't this last time at the time before. I said, Cam, I haven't seen you use your graph gear. He said, well, I twisted it wrong and it broke right here. It broke. They'd probably take it back, but he probably just trashed it. And uh, I said, well, oh, my gosh, you should have told me. So, of course, I had to order him a new graph gear because <laughs> he loves his graph gear. And what's so cool about it, it's weighted. Ask Janet. Janet has it. Janet has the graph gear, I think, in 5.7. Do you have it in 3.5 and 7, Janet? Uh, she might have stepped away, too. She's got her niece there. She's um, stuffing her face with bacon. <laughs> I mean, Janet, not her knees. Anyway, um, they're uh, weighted. They're weighty. They, they feel good in your hand. 
And uh, yeah, it's worth it, um, Galena. And there, if you get them at JetPan and on Amazon, I get it from JetPan. I think it's about twelve dollars on JetPan, probably a little cheaper on Amazon. But the um, the the this is like rubbery. Those little nubs are rubber bits sticking up. So you're feeling those rubber bits when you're holding it. It's a grippy. It's grippy, and it's weighted. And of course, you know, you just put your your lead inside the eraser put your lead in there there's the eraser and then here's the cap the cap that goes over the eraser um and it and it clicks out so you can click it and it closes the pin okay so it the the it retracts in with the click and then you just click it down and it snaps back out yeah hot bacon Hubby. Uh, yeah, we had uh we had BLTs for brunch after Hubster got home from the family thing. So I had made it, I made I made it, I made the BLTs. Hi Shy. So anyway, this is my favorite. I love to sketch in blue. I just like the way it looks. But if I'm doing a project, like I'm gonna do the little uh Eileen today is drawings. If y'all weren't here when I was talking about it earlier. Uh, Eileen posts every day. Today is National, you know, Chili Dog Day. Today is National Jello Day. She posts that every day on Twitter. So I am going to draw a national whatever it is. And there's like sometimes on certain days. I mean, I I went to the National Day of Eileen. You went to the um, Eileen went to the Check It Day checkitday.com so i'm going to compare the two i'm going to compare the check it day with the today the national this is the national <clears throat> and and then some things will have three four five things a day so i'm either going to pick one combine things you know how we combine things Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Let us know, Galena. She calls Galena's Galena's having another baby, and she calls him Poppy. That's her nickname, Poppy. <laughs> so cute. I love that. I love that, Galena. So, um, whatever national day it is, I'm going to try to draw a drawing a day and sell the originals. I'll probably make prints and stickers out of the others, but they're only going to be. Here, they're only going to be a little bigger than a postcard. This is the size they're going to be on watercolor paper. So the originals will be four, I think it's six by four and a half little watercolor drawings for national whatever day. And then I'll post it. And if anybody wants to buy it, I'm, I'm going to sell them. Check it day is also international. Ah, ah, okay. That's good to know, Eileen. Let me write that in my travelers. Check it day is plus international. This is just my, um, I use little traveler's books for um, everyday note taking other than my um, my other note taking, y'all know. Here's, here's everything I got to do for the look. What's that? Oh, I got a cold cable puppy. Some of my channels disappear. Um, here's, this is what I, this is how I, I do my um, notes. Then they get transferred into a traveler's or whatever. Okay, so let's see what else do I have here. More, that's my pastel note for Monday. More pastel notes for Monday. Because the pan pastel show is going to be on Monday. Okay, so I'm going to leave these in the box. Although I cut off that half torn off lid there. Don't need that. But I'll leave them in the box, which will probably get cut on because you know that plastic sharp. Let me cut all those edges off. It's like a weapon. <laughs> so I'll leave these in the box because they're, they're the exact same thing as these and they're not in color. They're just plain pencils. But they look so pretty, don't they? They look so pretty. So another rubber band. And we'll band these up and put them in my toolbox over here, i.e. silverware tray. Denise is fond of pointing out. Okay, so there's more pencils for the pencil. Oh, I just remembered I had. Oh my God, I'm glad I found these. My star. I thought I bought. Um, I bought another pack of Starburst. You get these at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can get the Sunburst Metallics 
Um, they're normally like $4. You can use a coupon again for $2, something like that, two and a quarter. The silver and the gold, these are the best silver and gold gel pens. The Sunburst Pentel two pack, they come in a two pack like that. Two pack Sunburst, these are the best. So I needed those out because I, I was running low on those. Okay. Then the last thing I got here in my haul from Walmart, school supply, school supply haul. Hey, Mr. Q is the Paper May Ink Joy. And, and we've all used the Ink Joys. I love the Ink Joys. I think these were about five bucks as well, $4.50, four $4.95. I'm not sure how much they are normally. Uh, it says here they're also available. They're available in two point sizes, 0.5 and 0.7. And I thought I bought the seven. Yeah, they're the seven. I like seven. Five is a little too tiny for me. A seven's just a perfect size pen and pencil. I love me a point seven. Uh, you can't hear me. Is anybody else having any issues hearing me? Yeah, these, these are some good gel pens. So they have, and I'll, I'll show you the colors. Compare, I'm going to compare them to the uh, Gelosity. These are the big Gelosity. And that was, these were like, I think they're like 12 pens for like $12. So these come to about a dollar a pen. These are, um, I think they're like five, under five bucks and there's 10. So these are like 50 cents a pen. The Ink Joy. Okay, well, um, can somebody type in to tell her to test her, because she can't hear me, uh, tell her to put in, uh, to make sure her computer volume is on, because I've done that before watching videos. What's wrong with my sound? Well, my computer volume was shut down or off. So tell her to, someone type in and tell her to turn on her, make sure her computer or her device, whatever she's on. Okay, so the Ink Joys, I love me some Ink Joys, but I don't think I've had the kind that have this, uh, it's like a coating. There, it has a different coating than the other Ink Joys. Um, it's almost like, it's like a little bit of a texture. It's kind of the rubbery feeling, but it has a slight texture to them. So I'm going to compare these Paper Mate Ink Joys to these. Okay, do they have the tip on there? Yeah, they do. They have the little tip. Okay. The I can tell that they they feel they write a little bit faster. They're a little bit quicker, smoother. Okay. These are a little the Gelosity is a little bit thicker like wider, like these almost could be like maybe a nine. I don't know. You know, one step up from a, you know, thicker. Yeah. The ink joys are thinner. Where's the orange? Um, I'm just picking off the little plastic tip on the end. Um, and they're smoother. Than the Bic Gelosity. Just for comparison here. Of course, I like them both. Y'all know I love me some pins. But I like the way these feel. They feel kind of, you know, they have that rubbery coating on them. They just feel nice in your hand. And remember when we did our pattern thing, these, any of these gel pens would be good to write on top of your, you know, if you do a watercolor something, a wash or a marker wash and you want patterns on top, these, and I'm sure these are probably, I don't want to say, say for sure, waterproof, but, you know, <laughs> I don't get those things wet again after the fact anyway, so I don't really think about it because I'm not going to matte medium over it. I'm not going to varnish them, but just, you know, oh, that black one's nice. It's a dark, dark black. Look at that, how dark black that is. Can you see the difference between that and the Gelosity? There's a Gelosity black. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Look how dark black that is. I like that. And I just like the way they feel. They're a little chunkier. They're just a little bit fatter pin. And I like the way that feels in my hand. 
plus that coating. So if I had to pick, if you only could get one of the Gelosity Bic, which were like $12 for 12, or the Ink Joy, Paper Mate Ink Joy, which are two, four, six, eight, ten, ten of them for five dollars, I would go with the Ink Joy. But although I like them both, I like them both. So, but I can tell y'all probably be using these first. All right, so those are those are my pens and my two composition books that I got for 50 cents each. Some of those little plastic things are there. There we go. So that was my Walmart. It only took us an hour to get through that. <laughs> I just knew I was not going to have time to do that and the other things I want to show today um, on Monday. So, yeah, so these are, I like my, um, I like these for notes about the show. I have, um, here's all my current ones that I'm using for Society of Idea Collectors. I just got them banded together. This is my Society of Idea Collector ones with notes jammed in there and stuff. Um, I just got a headband around them to hold them all together. So I use I use them for a little bit of everything. Uh, including just like this. Okay, got some questions. My shopping list keeps growing. Hope you're on with I'm done for the Walmart, Mary. <laughs> Did you use the mechanical pencils? that are all colors uh no they were just they're just pencils the ones that are um where are they where did i put them now it comes three sets i just pulled out one set they're just pencils but the let i mean they're, they're not color lead they're just num 0.7 mechanical clickable pencils not they're not color pencils yeah okay so that's my pens and pencils um i'll just put these and I'll, I'll put one in with my everyday so in my everyday i have a, a little bit of everything i'll go through them real quick oh wait there's something missing okay these two my lisa my Lisa parallel pins go in here too. So Miss Lisa got me those. Then I have, um, I got that Kelly Creates. These are those, um, I got a couple of these when they were on sale at Michael's for brush lettering. When we started practicing our brush lettering, which has kind of fallen by the wayside, including the four new books I bought. Anyway, brush lettering. Again, I keep these everywhere in the house. My, my um, Sharpie pen, I use these all the time. My graph gear goes in here. And then now I've got, two, I've got one of those zebra pens we just had. Here's another Sharpie pen. One white gel pen, um, the uh, Signo. One white Signo, one white gel pen, which I really don't need that in here because I don't use that in here. I, if I'm going to use it, I'll use that. I usually have a Posca in here too. My new Pigma FB. That was from um, uh, Jet Pins. The other Jet Pin. I think I got a couple more in here. I got two of the Micron PN, which is the plastic nib. I got two Micron PNs from Jet Pins. Those go in there. Um, this is the Pigma Fine. Again, Jet Pins. This is the um, Pentel Pocket Brush. Again, jet pens. That's the brush, pocket brush pen. Inking pen, jet pens. Uh, and I'll show those last. Another Sharpie pen. I don't really need three in there. Um, a pit, one of my pencils. Then I got a um, Sakura. What is this? Is it the Sakura? I don't know which one this is. But it's, it's kind of like, it's a plastic nib one as well. Then another one of those Kelly Create brush pens for the brush lettering. And then I've got the three um, 
fountain pens, two Jane Davenport ones, and the one that uh, Zandra sent me. The other, um, this is the one Zandra sent me. I forget who makes this. Uh, it's a Japanese, is it Sakura? It's made in Japan, but I don't know the brand. But Zandra sent me that one. I love to sketch with this. And then this is a Japanese, uh, I think it's a Sakura too. Um, it's got the black on one side and the gray on the other. So it's a black and a gray. So you have the shat shading and the pen, the black pen, line art and the shading. So this is my little, um, these are my, This if I go anywhere, I take this. If I go to the lake, if I, I'll take this in a sketchbook. Right here has everything in it um, that I need to draw anywhere. Draw, sketch, and ink. And this little bag right here, this is a Mistel. I bought this probably, I'm saying eight years ago, maybe. I think I got this before I started streaming uh, or right thereafter. And she, these are her hand-painted fabrics that she was making. I don't think she sells these anymore, guys. So don't go be hounding up Miss Mistel. But she has her little tag in there. And um, so I love the size of this little pen, this little bag. This goes with me everywhere. Okay, so the next thing we're going to move on to, let's see. And again, I'm going to I'm going to give away one of these. Maybe I'll do it today because y'all are sitting here being so patient with the haul. I'll do that here. <laughs> oh yes, we just love how we just love a giveaway, right? Um, Anyway, um, okay, so let me put that with my pins. All right, so I got, I was hoping Norma would be here. Has anybody seen Norma? I don't think she's, let me check Twitter real quick. Um, limo, Branson Limo, Norma. She sent me a box. It came in Friday after the stream. No sign of her yet? Okay, no tweet. Okay, you did tweet too? Okay. Well, I want to show her, her, um, because I'm not going to have time to do it on Monday. And I don't want to wait till the week after. So I'm going to go ahead and show. Uh, Y'all want to go ahead and do it? Let's go ahead and give this away real quick. All right. So let me get my. Uh, let's put my best on my iPad. Let me get. Yeah. So I'm going to give away a pack of them. I, bu I bought an extra pack for a giveaway. They're the extra bold. So let me get my random.org. I do have a couple mods here to help me. <laughs> herd, herd cats. Okay, so let's go to random.org. It's just so much easier. I don't want that. No, no, no. I don't want, I don't want this. Random. Come on. Ugh. Put an extra letter in there. No wonder. Don't put any numbers yet. How it works. When you see me, type go. You, you, she wasn't there when you opened yours either, Jean. Okay. I, you know, I like the people to be there, but you know, again, there's only so many stream hours. And I've got to do those pan pastels on Monday. I have another color book I want to do a, a, a flip through. So I just, you know, there's not enough stream hours. You know, I don't want to stream over everybody else. Okay, so how it's going to work, don't put any numbers in yet. No numbers yet, please. I'm going to explain how it works. When you see me, type in go, go, go. When you see me, type it in. Then put in a number between 1 and 150. Let me fix, get my random here ready to go. Then put in a number between 1 and 150. One number only. Do not try to put in multiple numbers. Don't see, oh, somebody else put my number in, so I'm putting in another number. One number only. The closest, and this is how it works every time. The closest without going over. The closest without going over. I'm going to send the big pins to. Okay, people don't know how to pay attention, do they? Okay. 
I guess people are not listening to the instructions. They're putting in numbers. A number does not count. Becky, Alexis, y'all aren't paying attention to the rules. <laughs> now, <laughs> now put in a number between one and 150. It's just a pack of pins, people. <laughs> I just like to, I like to do nice things, but golly, people, it's a tough world. <laughs> so we'll see who wins that. Oh, these go back to these go to Hubster. I gotta put those on. All right, get your number in. Don't wait. Don't wait too long. No lag. I know, Galena, there's no lag like on Ustream. We used to have horrible lag. That's Talk about hurting cats. Okay, so put your number in. I, I wait about a minute. And then I'm going to put in stop, and then no numbers count after that. So those are the rules. That's how we roll. Don't email me. <laughs> Except unless you win, then you can email me your address. All right, let me check my notes here. Let's see, I got that. Okay, I got, I got that done. I got everything. Okay, I got talked about that. I got to do. An hour and a half. I don't like to rush my shows. I don't like to rush my streams. I mean, I do try to color and draw faster than I normally would. But I don't, I want to relax and enjoy the fun. You know, because if it's not fun for me, then it's not going to be fun for you. <laughs> okay, so I think everybody's done. So I'm going to stop. So now I got my random.org. It's random.org right here. Random.org. Bring up the little box over here. Okay, it's between 1 and 150. I'm going to generate... 18. Okay, 18. So the closest to 18 without going over. So let's see. First person, if there's more than one 18, it's the first person that put in 18. Okay, it's not that hard. Did you have it first, Kathy? Kathy said she had 18. Just make every go, everybody can go scroll back, make sure she was the first person that had 18. If that's true, then Kathy Bird, Kathy, unless you've moved, have you, you haven't moved, have you? Then I still have your address. Have you moved? Because <laughs> I don't want to send it to an unknown address. Okay. Okay. Congratulations, Kathy. You'll have to do some sketching. Hey, Judy. Hey, everybody. You're going to buy them? Okay, you're still in the same place. Okay, well, Kathy, these will go out, and I've got the rest of my Happy Meal. Hubster's going to take tomorrow. So, because um, I did finish, I showed y'all. I did finish my Ken and Tammy drawing for uh, Ken's birthday. So that's going to Ken uh, for his birthday. Got that done. It'll go out tomorrow. Okay, with along with some other happy mail, including your pins, Kathy. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show uh, Norma's happy mail. Okay, so Norma, and I took everything out. I took it out. She had everything wrapped up in nice bubble wrap. So Norma, thank you so much. Um. Oh, thanks, Jean. Yeah. And again, guys, I'm not, I'm, I'm getting a lot of people asking me uh, about messaging me and leaving comments on YouTube and stuff about doing portraits for them because I do people and pets. But I'm taking a break probably till Christmas other than a couple, I got a gold rush mom and a few other portraits that I got to do, but I'm not taking any more new commissions probably till after Inktober. And then that'll only give me a month 
uh, all, only November to do anything before Christmas. So, cause I want to get caught up on my other projects. I want to do some other things. And, as, and if I've got portraits backed up in my, you know, the work to do other than streaming, I just, I'm not going to get any of my other projects done. My animals, my cell phone covers, uh, you know, I want to do these little illustrations, things like that. I just want to do something, some other things for a while. And I can't do that and my portraits and stream and my color books. I can't do it all. There's just not enough hours in the day. Okay, so. Oh, there's a troll. Thank you, Eileen. I know y'all got boots on. So I figure if there's any trolls, y'all take care of them. That's why I've got some things lined up. I got a little something lined up for all my mods, which I have. I think I got, let me see. Tell me if I'm missing any of my mods. Because I wrote these down. Terry Trouble, Pecola, Julie, Janet, Eileen the Enabler Elf, Ian, and Jean. I think I got them all. Okay. If I'm <laughs> so back to my Norma Branson Limo. Her name is Norma. She's Branson Limo nickname. And uh, I did tweet and so did Jean. And we didn't get any answers. Of course, she may be, she may just be busy, but I wanted to show her happy mail. Because I won't be able to do it on Monday. So she sent me a lot of stuff here. She's with notes. And like I said, everything was wrapped up in nice bubble wrap. So I did unwrap everything. Okay. So I'm going to start with these books. And let me go ahead and turn the, let's see. Let me turn my ring light up a little. So well, it's still going to have a glare there. Um. So thank you so much, Norma. I loved everything. And Norma said, I, I don't think, do you have this? And, and I said, no, I don't have that. Well, so she sent little notes and things. She said that these are from the Georgia O'Keeffe exhibit at Crystal Bridge Art Museum in Bentonville. And so y'all know I love, I, I love me some... Uh, I love me some Georgia O'Keeffe, Frida. Of course, my favorite is um, Salvador Dali. But I love me some Georgia O'Keeffe. So she sent these postcards. And then she sent some of the brochures from the Georgia O'Keeffe exhibit. And, um, yeah, I, I love this kind of stuff. I mean, being a collage, paper, mix is one of Norma's cards. It's like a color book page. I mean, um, I mean, I think that might even be the original postcard. And then she put hello, hello all over it. <laughs> so, hello, Sinlex. Hello, Sinlex. I don't think I've met you. Welcome. Anybody else here I are, that's new? Welcome, everybody. So uh, she sent me that with the, with the note on it. And then... She has little notes on everything. These were from the Georgia O'Keeffe. And she had everything like all paper clipped so nice. <laughs> then she said, I found this in a thrift store for a dollar. I bought it for you to cut up in your collage. Um, or she bought it to, for to her to cut it up in collage, but she couldn't. But wanted you to. So she sent it to me. <laughs> Well, you know what I think I want to do with this? It's a manga, Japanese manga catalog. And I think what I want to do with it, I think it would be more fun to make it into a mag magazine journal. So rather than cut this up, I think it would be cool to make it into a journal. You know, a magazine journal. So it's a some it's it's a it's a manga catalog. But look, look at the art in it. Wouldn't this be a nice um art journal? Like a magazine journal? Because obviously I can't read this. Yeah. So look. And you, you know, you can leave pages, you can leave pages as it is and paint over others. Wouldn't it be fun as a journal? But look how cute. I love this stuff. This is good like reference material for drawing. Cam doesn't really do manga anymore. You know, he used to draw manga all the time. But um, anyway, see all the little references and then, you know, clothing, the undergarments, 
was a little um, like the postcard thing to order here. Oh, no, that's just a flyer. This is probably where Norma left off. It's a Salvador Dali. Well, she put that in there for me because she knows I like Salvador Dali. Yeah, wouldn't it be a fun journal? So I'm thinking that because, you know, you can cover up some of the Japanese writing, draw in it, right? You can draw right over this, you know, draw sketch right on top of it. I don't know. I'm I just kind of crossed my mind to do that. You know, it's got shows of different pins. There's Copics. Then there's um, paints. There's uh, Golden. And I don't know if that's Holbein or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, here's some Holbeins. So just different watercolors. But look, look at that page right there. You could even color that. I don't know. I think it'd be fun. Pull some of the pages and collage too. Yeah, I could do both. Yeah, for sure, Kathy. So I just think it's just a neat, you know, it's it's just a neat. Here's the uh, little card in there. You know, the little, look, isn't this just, just great? Look at this. So I can see why she couldn't tear it up. Uh, and I'm showing it backwards as I'm sure that's probably how it rolls. Comicers and Maxon presented by Maxon Comicers. So it's, yeah, it's a manga. And again, I don't read Japanese, but it's got all kind of ads for, um, you know, art supplies and manga and drawing manga and all that. So this is, this is the way this is, this would be the front. Yeah, I know. Hi, Graceland. Anybody else popping in? I want to see, change that book. You want me, you want to see me turn it into a magazine journal? Well, if we get a minute, I'll try to show you some of my other magazines. I mean, I know most of y'all probably see my magazine journals. I got stacks of them. But, you know, I think this would be fun. Again, you know, it's all about the time. Then she got this um, Andy Warhol color book. She saw this at Crystal Bridges Art Museum gift shop recently, and I wanted you to have it. Love Norma. So I'm going to keep her little note inside. But it's an Andy Warhol color book. Look. <laughs> Isn't this fun? It's just like awesome, right? And it's like they took Andy Warhol's art and turned it into line art. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll have to look up some of like the Campbell soup. You know, I think I'd rather do this big one over here. Or I could do the Mona and see, you know, some of the colorways. We went to the Andy Warhol exhibit at the High Museum. I have pictures. We took me and Hubster and Cam. Um, I'll see if I can find some pictures. I don't know if they'll show up on my uh, phone. Sometimes my phone doesn't like want to show, but I'll, I'll show that here in a minute. Let's finish this. But we went to the, and I didn't see this color, but I would have bought this at the Andy Warhol exhibit if they would had this, but they didn't have this at my Andy Warhol exhibit. But this will be fun. Don't you think the color? Moving right along. <laughs> Julie so fast. Uh, so y'all know, you know, he took like uh, advertising, a lot of things, uh, packaging and, um, and uh, <laughs> Julie, you're funny. Let's see. Let me scroll back. It was last year. So it should be easy to find because Cam had turquoise hair at the time. So I'll just look for the turquoise hair. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. There's Christmas. So it was before Christmas. Let me go back. Scrolling. I've only got 2,000 pictures on my phone. Um, let's see. There's last year's Inktober. It was before Inktober. So, hang on. Scrolling back. <laughs> oh, here we go. So, let's see what we got here. So, oh, the first thing, we'll take a little tour back to a little rabbit trail from Norma. <laughs> but we went up to the museum. It was um, 
traffic was there was a wreck or something i don't remember but traffic was back it backed up and everything so i had to draw um i wrote in atlanta traffic i'm not saying it was aliens but and i drew giorgio i know you can't see i drew him in purple i drew giorgio you know um bleh. anyway it's not wanting to show up but i drew aliens all in his head in purple let's see if i can all right here's me and cam there's me and Cam. Oh, sorry, guys. Maybe I'm not. There it goes. So there's Cam with his turquoise hair. We went to Blick first. So we went to Blick. And I'm going to try to find some of the Andy Warhol. Here's Cam standing. Look how big that big exhibit is of Andy Warhol. There's Cam standing in front. He looks like a little bitty kid, doesn't he? And he's like 5'9". So you can see how big that exhibit is. Uh-oh. Come back, chat. That it was a huge exhibit. I mean, a huge exhibit. Um, here's me standing in front of one of the soup cans there. On stop so putting brightness to lowest helps. Oh, okay. Let me do that. That's a good idea. Let's let's try that. Okay, so let's see. Oh yes, good tip, Mill the Cat. Mill the cat. Look how, look, now you can see it. I just turned the brightness down on my phone. Now, wasn't it SCAD? It was at the High Museum, Mr. Q. It was at the High Museum. What was the little video? What's the video? Oh, I did a little video here. And guys, it was elbow to elbow. It was packed. I'm not kidding. It was jam packed. But it was fun. Okay, what's this one? Oh, here's another one. And they, they want you, they like it when you take pictures and video and stuff and put it on, um, put it on the internet. They want to promote their, there's Cam there next to Marilyn with his blue, his teal hair there. Now he shaved off his beard and has blonde hair, as y'all saw when he was here. We went to the varsity. He, I bought him a Marilyn t-shirt. There he is in his Marilyn t-shirt. What else? I wanted to see some like big picture. Uh, there's Hubster. Here's here's when we were at Blick. Yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Here's another. These were, I think, some early drawings. So anyway, it was fun. And they have rooms and rooms and rooms of Andy stuff. So yeah, it was awesome. Remember the soup can picture? I saw my sugar pour. <laughs> Tell you drew your sugar pour. <laughs> but anyway, so Norma sent me the Andy Warhol coloring book. Is this going to be fun or what? <laughs> Thank you, Norma. Okay, so I got, um, okay, I want to put this inside the book here where she got it. Notes, notes. Then she sent me some washi tape. She sent me the Faith, the Faith washi tape. Let's see if I can get it open here. It's taped. So y'all know I love me some washi tape. I don't think y'all don't want me to pull out my washi. Oh, I did redo the trays. Did I tell you I redo, did my washi tape trays? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. So this is American Crafts. I think you get these at Michael's. Maybe, well, probably any craft store. And they're the. it's the faith. You know, it, one says faith. Um, this one has hearts on it. This one says faith. It has have faith. Thanks, Grace. Um, trust in God. Then this one has a stripe, like a diagonal stripe. You know, washi tape. This one says pray. 
of gold. This one has the Christian symbols, the fish, the cross, and a heart. This one says, what does it say? I can't read it. The words are over the words. Let's see. Yeah, he's well. He loved he loved manga, but he likes drawing his own people better, you know. Like like he did the uh, girl, um, the YouTube vlogger girl that he drew when he was here. This one has Jesus, is Christ on that one. This one has flowers, I think. Yeah, this one just has flowers. So they're just so pretty. That I love how a set like this is coordinated. Now, y'all know I'm going to throw this away, right? <laughs> I don't keep the packaging. It's going to have to go in my um, washi tape printer trays. You bought your first washi tape? <laughs> you want me to show you my, hat, my, my washi tape, guys? You, you won't judge me? If I show you my washi tape, you won't judge me? <laughs> Y'all are going to judge me. I don't want to show it. <laughs> All right. So I I cleaned out my, hang on, let me get up. I sorted out, sorted out my printer trays. So I got two printer trays <laughs> cleaned out. So I have this one. This, this tray, which now these can go in here of washi. It's a little flash out. Hang on, guys. Let me fix my lighting. Add it too. There we go. <laughs> Jean, wait. Wait for it, Jean. Okay, so I got this this tray. Where's, where's Janet? <laughs> Janet? Janet has more than me i know she does then i got this other giant tray that's even bigger <laughs> so this tray i can put on this tray on top so there's here's the big tray and then here's the little tray this tray's about like that big So yeah, I got two two trays of the washi tape, and uh, so yeah. Okay, <laughs> I don't have enough. I know, Lisa, right? <laughs> All right. Well, I promise not to judge. Okay, then Norma, I'm gonna say what I think is the most interesting thing to last. She sent me a pencil case. Now y'all know we just got new pens. So perfect timing. I'm cut off from the washi. <laughs> yes, I do use it, Eileen. I actually do use it. If anybody's ever got Happy Meal from me, it's always got washi tape. Oh, well, because let me show you here. This is how I send out washi tape. I have some, just happen to have some made here. When I send out like Society of Idea Collectors or you know, little things like that. See, I wrap washi tape around the little um, the little uh, embroidery floss. And this is how I send it out to you guys. <laughs> I send out the little washi tape. And Mr. Q, I need your address too. You need to email me. Kenneth too, y'all need to e email me your addresses, which I never give address. I don't give addresses out or put you on a mailing list or nothing like that. But uh, I just need it for happy mail. But I. You put the washi, you just wrap washi tape around the little um, embroidery floss. You know, you can get a lot on there. Get a lot of, uh, of washi tape on there. And it's just a nice way to store it. And so if you, if you don't collect rolls of it, <laughs> you can also put it on, on um, your little um, embroidery floss and then just put it on a book ring. Where's my book ring? <laughs> Hang on. Let me reach up over you guys. Some of my book rings here and my cigar box of book rings. 
So then you can take a book ring and put all your washi tape on a book ring. And then I know girls were doing, I, I, ha, I don't have time to do swaps really, but um, you could, if you want to do swaps with the girls, with other people, and if you don't have the little ring, I mean the little uh, embroidery floss things, then just use credit card, not, you know, you know, gift cards, credit cards was mine, you know, just use, use a plastic card. I don't know about the Apple ones. Apple ones aren't coded, but you know, any, any kind of those cards that you get in the mail, gift cards or like that, you can wrap, you can wrap around those. You can even cut those in half. Like, you know, like I said, the Apple ones aren't, aren't slick. I have a lot of the Apple uh, iTunes cards, but you can um, cut these in half or even less. Like you could get like, you cut them like, you could probably get like four or something out of one like this. And uh, let me get this all in this ring. And just have a little, you can have a little ring, ring of tapes. See, isn't that cute? Yeah, yeah, Debbie, exactly. So then you could just cut these down and wrap your washi tape and do exchanges. You know, if you want to do a swap with somebody for some washi tape, y'all just decide on a foot or two feet, however much. You know, it's usually about a foot or, you know, a foot and a half is good, you know, more than that, it's going to get a big bulk. You know, I think this has probably got about, uh, you know, it's probably got about a foot on each one of those, something like that. And, uh, but you can just do on little strips like this, if you find someone you want to do a, um, a swap with, you know, just wrap your washi tape around little cards. And I guess it really doesn't matter what you wrap it on because it's even if it did stick, even if it did stick to the card, it's only going to stick that one round because after that, the tape is on tape is on tape is on tape. So it's not going to matter if it sticks to the initial, you know, whatever plastic. So, yeah. But anyway, so you can do that. Right. On a ring. I'm not going to keep mine on a ring because I have it all in the. Uh, I have it all in that, those boxes. But this is my book ring box, cigar box of book rings. For, you know, when we did more of that kind of stuff. Just cut strips out of milk. Yeah, any plastic, anything, anything plastic. Okay, so then Norma sent this little adorbs bag. And I think she says on here. She found it from the gift shop at Crystal Bridges Art Museum as seltzergoods.com. Seltzer, like Al Alka Seltzer. Seltzer. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's on a little, it's got a little chain here. Of course, you can take the little card off like this and then put little um, uh, jewelry. We call it journal jewelry you know, charms or whatever, hang that off of here. Okay, so I'll keep the little tag. So inside, <laughs> I know, isn't it cute, Eileen? There's the, there's the name right there. And it's like, a, it feels like a feed sack, you know, kind of like that canvasy kind of thing. All kinds of goodies in here, people, all kinds of goodies. Of course, she sent us of her jewelry, and you know, I give the I give this away. Here's one. I have one of her bracelets on here. This is one of her bracelets, and I give these away because I don't need all these bracelets. I'll you know, I always I have a few things that she sent, but um, so she has different. These are the kind um, the spring back. Uh, what do you call them? You know, the the wire that springs back. The bracelets that spring back. So she sent that. This is a necklace here, and this is some necklace here, too, because she sent one of these before. Memory wire. Thank you, Jean. Memory wire. So I give these away. Uh, luggage tag, which, you know, this, to me, should go on my, um, what do you call it, my bag. 
what's that bag called that Denise bought me that I keep uh, Her Majesty Camille cameo silhouette in? Forever, not a forever. What is that bag? Uh, there's a name for those bags. Anyway, this needs to go on that bag. Here, let me show you. Her Majesty Camille is in this big bag. See, there's Her Majesty Camille has her own home. Jean, she has her own home. <laughs> and Denise got me this bag. It has my initials right there. 31. Yeah, 31. Thank you, Jennifer. Denise got me this 31 bag for Her Majesty Camille to live in. So this will have to tie on. I'm going to tie it on there right now. To Her Majesty Camille, her home. I know that sounds silly, but you know, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there we go. So, uh. thanks, Norma. <laughs> Oh, today your birthday, Mr. Q? Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Q. All right. Where was I? Oh, okay. So this is the jewelry. Sent me some sticky notes. Thumbs up, people. Y'all know I love me some sticky notes. And uh, this is one of the little, uh, it's a bookmark, you know, like, a, you, let's see here. Like, here's your book page, and it's a little bookmark. And these were made by Smashbook, I think. I kind of remember that. Let's see. Let's go this tie there. Come on. There we go. Like that. Bookmark. Isn't that cute? <clears throat> then she sent, so, see how everything was wrapped in bubble wrap. I took everything pretty much out of the bubble wrap. Some bicycle paper clips. I know, so stinking cute. Oh. Bicycle paper clips. Some of these little, uh, like planner, planner paper clips. And I actually use these in my traveler's journals. My traveler notebooks because you know I keep these these kind of books go into a bigger traveler's notebooks and um, like here's one of my rag flags here but these are these are excellent for your travelers and again I stick these in happy mail all the time uh, some postcards they look vintagey I'm not sure what they let's I didn't open the pack yet. Let's open the pack. I know Norma, thank you so much. This is so fun. So let's look at these. Okay, they're all eggs. Don't put your eggs in one basket. <laughs> but look how vintagey they look. They look like um Nick Bantock, actually. But I don't think Nick Bantock would do eggs, but that's what the back looks like. It's Looks like uh, vintage -y. So there's those postcards. What did Eileen say? Oh, hey, May. I'm trying to see. Oh, they have got some travel plans going on. And then um, I guess I'll keep that because that's good to pack the bracelets in, in Happy Mail. She sent this. Look at this stamp set. It's an Inka Dinka Do, and it's tassels. Look at that. Tassel stamps. How cute is that? I don't think I've ever seen the tassel stamps. Let's take them out because y'all know I don't save the packaging. <laughs> I'll leave them on the piece of plastic. You know, this. Aren't those cute? Little tassel stamps. Oh my gosh, that's adorbs. Adorbs Norma. And I want to keep her little bracelets with the um, bubble wrap. And then finally, this, y'all know. Let me all right, let me just show you real quick. Y'all know. 
Hang on. Rabbit trail. Just for proof, I love me some Nick Van Talk. I love me some Nick Van Talk. <laughs> Here's all my Nick Van Talk books. All the Griffin and Sabine, the Forgotten Room, the Venetian's Wife, Urgent Second Class. This is how to do collage. He makes his own ephemera. So there's Nick Van Talk ephemera. This is his biography, the Egyptian jukebox. So all these are my Nick Van Talk collection. Oh, and the Trickster's Hat. We've done a couple out of here too. Nick Van Talk, um, the Mischievous Apprenticeship in Creativity. We've done a couple projects out of here. You need to, you know, you just want to do so, there's so many things. So anyway, just to show you that I love me some Nick Van Talk. <laughs> Norma, and then let's see where she found these. She found it in a thrift store and bought it for me. Hope you don't have it. I do not. I have every other practically Nick Van Talk, but from 19, I think 1990 was his first Griffin and Sabine. I think they came out in 1990. If y'all have never seen the Griffin and Sabine books, they have hand tipped in letters and notes all in all throughout the story, which 91, 1991. So she found this little box of postcards. Let me turn the light down a little. Here we go. <clears throat> a little box of Nick Bantock postcards and book. So here are all the postcards. Y'all know this is like right up my alley. Collage, Nick Bantock postcards. I even have his ink. Said he came out with like, Ranger, I think, put them out. I got about 10 sets of these different inks. They're like the before Ranger put out, well, before Tim Holtz put his out, these came out. Ranger put these out. I'm trying to see a date on them. Paula would probably know how long ago these came out. But the Nick Van Talk inks, and some of them are still good. But the little tins are so cute. I had to keep them for the tins, even if they didn't all work a hundred percent. Love me some Nick Van Talk. I know, right? And the little box and everything. See, and he does. I can't swear that he did every one of these stamps, but according to his uh, book on the urgent second class, that one. he creating curious collage, dubious documents, and other forms of ephemera. He shows you how to make your own. He makes his own stamps. He makes his own ephemera. He makes all that. I know, right? So there's the little cards, and then there's this little book. Let's see what's in the little. But the, look at the little box. It's like a little book box. Do you know what I mean, Vern? It's a little book box that looks like a book. So let's see what's this in here. Travelers of a va Vagabond Country. Oh. A little, he made his own country up. It's kind of like Griffin and Sabine, you know, all the countries, all the lands. Hey, in my words. 
Isn't that just so like, ugh, it needs one of the little Nick Band Talk tins, the stamp tins need to go in here just because it needs that. I just want to look at it again. What's this? Is this just a box here? What's this right here? I think that's just the packaging there. I don't want to rip anything out, but I think that's just the packaging. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? So I think I showed y'all everything in Norma's box. And again, she sends her little jewelry. She makes this, and I don't know if she sells it. I don't want to put her phone number on there. <laughs> but if anybody wants to know about Norma's, let me take one of these out here. Uh, let's see if I can do it gently without tearing anything up because I want to I give these away. I have a couple other things that she sent, so I, I'll keep everything, you know. Like the Distress Ink Prototypes. I know, right in my words. So Nora makes all kinds of, these are braids. Okay, so these are little, um, they're on elastic. I'll show y'all what they look like. See? This is, oh, you know what? When we need to wear this, we need to wear this on the New Year Streamathon. Don't we? The, what was the book box? Parrot on it. It's a parrot one on it. I'll have to look, Lisa. Which one had the parrot on it? I don't know. I'll look. So this, uh, we need to wear this on the New Year's Eve streamathon. Y'all don't know. There's a bunch of us. Uh, Jean organizes it, and um, every year we do a New Year's streamathon. And what that is is um, we start. Usually, I think Jean starts with me because I'm usually the earliest, and she'll put she'll back me up till six o'clock in the morning or something and i'll stream real early in the morning and what we do is for 24 hours 22 hours right gene 22 oh the no, the one for norma had a pound there you go this one is what you wanted to see yeah so new year's I ought to keep keep one and give one. So there's, she has two in here. So there's that one. I know for New Year's. Oh, so anyway, what we're saying is Jean, um, Jean will organize it, and we all take turns uh, tw for 22 hours. We go around the world. I mean, we start in the states. Then I forget how Jean works it, but we can start in the states. We go to through Canada. We go through, you know, uh, we can do UK, Australia, and and we as the as New Year's turns over, we're all streaming. Je Jennifer, you end it, yeah. Jennifer ends it like what at four o'clock in the morning or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we stream for twenty two hours, and um, and 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 we all it's like a tag along, you know. I'll stream and I'll say, okay, everybody go to so and so's. And then after that person streams, okay, everybody go to so and so, and and however many streamers it takes. We usually each take. Uh, I usually take two hours. A few people take two hours. Some take one hour. And um, yeah, I know the year's going by so fast, right? And uh, so it's really fun. And now we're going to be on YouTube, which has got we got HD quality, which we didn't have on UStream, y'all know. And uh, so I think it's going to be even more fun, Jean, on YouTube. What do you think? Yeah, and Jean always does put up a schedule with links. So sometime probably um, in December, we'll be we'll all start sharing the link on Jean's blog where she'll show the breakdown of which streamer is streaming. And, oh, it is fun, Kim. And, you know, some of us... Um, Hey, Anne. And then some of us do giveaways. You don't have to do giveaways, but you know, some of us will, well, most of us do some kind of giveaway or some treat or something, you know, uh, during the show. So this would be a good gift on, on a streamathon. So yeah, maybe I'll wear these and wait for the streamathon and give the, and, and these fancy, these glittery ones for the giveaway on one of the giveaways. I, we, I try to do a journal or something. Last year I made um, 
collage, mixed media, my collage, you know, my art card collage kind of mixed media. I did three different traveler's notebooks like this size, and I did the covers in my collage, and that's what I gave away last year. So, yeah, let's put our tag back on here. So maybe that's what we'll do. I'll add this to part of the stream-a-thon. You can be here for some or all, depending whether you have a real life or not. You know, none of us have real lives, Gene, so we'll all be here. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'll put this, I'll put all the bracelets here, my Norma bracelets in my giveaway stack over here. And I'll probably wear one of those. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I know, right, Gene? So thank you so much, Norma, for all those goodies. And I can't wait to color in my Andy, uh, Andy Warhol color book. So I did have one more book that I got, but I kind of, I want to see this is here's the one bad thing about uh, YouTube, and that is that we can't start a new stream, a new video without everybody leaving and having to come back to the other one. So I wanted, I kind of wanted to show this other book on its own. I wanted this one to be a happy mail and a haul, but uh, cause Monday I am doing, uh, you know what? I think I'll wait on the unicorn. I'll give y'all a peek. I'll give y'all a sneak peek. I'll give y'all a sneak peek. And then maybe, I don't know what day it might be next week week i don't know when i'll get to this guys because i won't have time to color it we can come back y'all want to do that okay well i'll because i want this to have its own video so we can do that then we'll do it y'all want to come back okay so i'm going to end this video give me five minutes in between give me five minutes to go get some hot coffee take a quick break and then we'll be i'll, be, I'll come back and i'm going to show y'all the unicorn color book okay all right so give me give me five minutes or so guys and uh and i'll be back so i'm going to go ahead and end this stream and i'll see you guys 